Good morning, greetings, and welcome to The Bright Side, your nutritional program dedicated to the understanding of the vast world of nutrition and nutritional supplementation. I'm your host, Pharmacist Ben, nutritional pharmacist from Boulder, Colorado. I use nutritional supplements where other healthcare practitioners use toxic pharmaceutical drugs and sometimes deadly medical procedures if you suspect that there are natural nutritional roads to your health and vitality and well-being and to addressing your health challenges, whatever they may be but you don't know where to begin, you have come to the right place. As you listen to The Bright Side every day, you are more and more in control of your body, you are more and more knowledgeable, and you know you can overcome any health challenge. That is why we are here every day on The Bright Side, helping clear up the sometimes confusing world of nutrition and nutritional supplementation. Over the last 32 years of practicing pharmacy, I have seen drug-free recoveries from diabetes, hypertension, obesity, skin diseases like acne, psoriasis, eczema, rosacea, digestive ailments, autoimmune issues of all kinds, recoveries that by the standards of modern medicine can only be called a miracle, but what is in the world of the body, what is in the world of biology, standard operating procedure. Because the human biological system is a healing system, it's a regenerating system, it is designed divinely to heal and renew itself on a moment-to-moment basis. And while some folks may call that healing, renewing, regenerating system a miracle, it really is just the way the body works. If you have questions about health, nutrition, prescription drugs, if you want to wean yourself off your meds and get on a good nutritional supplement program, we are here for you. We welcome your calls on the bright side at 844 844- 236-6010. Got lines open, 844-236-6010. If you have questions about the longevity products, the longevity business, health challenges you or a loved one may be dealing with, or our Truth Skin Health products, which are all available at truthtreatments.com, 844-236-6010 is our number on the bright side. And if you want to purchase the longevity products, you can call 866-735-2470, 866-735-2470. You can also head to brightsideben.com criticalhealthnews.com and pharmacistben.com. We've got blog posts, news stories, videos, lots of good health information as well as the longevity products. And a join the team now link that you can click on for a one-time $30 fee at brightsideben.com, pharmacistben.com or criticalhealthnews.com. Okay, we have been talking about the nature of the minerals and the digestive system and how the body processes these minerals at the level of the digestive system. I'm really going to get into that. Uh, that the four points in the center of the body where all digestion and absorption really occur, or the, the majority of digestion and absorption really occur. And that's at the level of the stomach, the intestine, the pancreas, and the gallbladder, particularly where the Food leaves the stomach and enters into the intestine and gets hit with a big blast from the gallbladder and from the pancreas. That point right there has a huge role to play in how healthy or not healthy we're going to be and how well nutrients are going to be absorbed, especially the minerals, which, as we've been talking about, are the most confusing subject in all of nutrition. And not only are the minerals themselves confusing, but how we get the minerals into our body. That is specifically into our blood via the digestive system, particularly at this particularly at this interface between the stomach, the intestines, the intestine, the gallbladder, and the pancreas. So I want to just finish up, or, or at least continue, I guess I'd say, uh, talking about the minerals, the most confusing subject in all of nutrition. I just got a few things I want to say about. It. I don't want to. I know we've been talking about it for a while, so I don't. I'm going to wind this thing down, but there's a couple things that are important to remember as we move on into the digestive system and how the body handles these things. Most importantly, and and really what accounts for most of the confusion, or a lot of the confusion anyway, when it comes to minerals, is the fact that we're not really, when we talk about minerals, we don't really mean minerals. We call them minerals, but the body doesn't really use minerals. It uses elements, the stuff on the periodic table. Each one of the elements plays a role in human nutrition, either directly or secondarily. Each one of the natural elements, 92 of them, and the little boxes on the periodic table, play a role in nutrition, either directly in terms of the body uses them directly, or indirectly in terms of, plant, in terms of uh, plants using them, which then turn those minerals into vitamins and essential fatty acids and amino acids, all of which are essential for human health. Now. The point I'm trying to make here is they're all important. All 92 of these things are important, either directly, they're in our bodies, or indirectly because plants make vitamins and such from them. 
And so in a way, everything comes from the minerals. Not in a way, literally, everything comes from the elements. I'm sorry, the elements. I probably am going to th- confuse that myself because it's so uh, common to call the elements minerals. And that's a problem because it makes, the th- it, makes it really confusing. The minerals are carriers. They're vehicles. They're forms, dosage forms that the elements take. The minerals are... And and based on the different minerals, the elements are going to be absorbed into the body more or less. So the minerals are made up of the elements. The minerals come from the elements. And the minerals carry them, and we eat them as minerals, or we ingest them as minerals in supplements. But the the body has to somehow pull out the mineral, or the element out of the mineral. And that's where the digestive system comes in. The digestive system and the absorption system, not just how the body, how the stuff is absorbed from foods and then into the blood, depends on the type of form that this element takes. If some forms are, the elements are released more effectively than other forms, or the elements are used more effectively than other forms. It's got 92 elements on the periodic table, and we are mostly, 99% of the human body is made up of six elements. There's 92 of them, but six of them make up the vast majority of us. Carbon, hydrogen, nitrogen, oxygen, phosphorus, and sulfur. They call it CHNOPs. That's the technical name, or that's the uh, acronym. C-H-N-O-P-S, CHNOPs. That's 99% of us, and another 0.85% of us comes from five other ones. So 11 minerals of the 92 make up 99.85% of our bodies, roughly. And everything else is in the body all together at 0.15%. That's amazing. We've got 92 elements, and uh, 81 of them, 81 of those 92 elements make up 0.15%, and the other 11 make up 99.85%. Calcium, magnesium, sodium, potassium, chloride. Those are the other five. You've got the chinops plus calcium, magnesium, sodium, potassium, and chloride. So as important as calcium is, it makes up an infinitesimal amount of our bodies. Think about that. You hear about calcium all the time. How important calcium is. For the bones, calcium is important for the chemistry, calcium is important for the blood, calcification here, calcification there, blah, 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 calcium. Are you taking your calcium supplements? You're all about calcium. Altogether, calcium makes up maybe 0.6% of the body. Maybe less, 0.5 or 0.6%, something like that. There are all these other elements, all the other 81 elements are like sprinkled on, they're like spices that are sprinkled on a meal. They're the, they're the spices. They're the pixie dust, the magical pixie dust. Yet, deficiencies in calcium can wreak havoc on the body. Even though it's in there, it's such tiny amounts. Magnesium is in the body even less. And deficiencies in, in magnesium are a major, major cause of disease. So the tiny amounts of these things is really kind of interesting considering how important they are. How can something that makes up such a tiny, tiny amount of the body have such a huge impact? That goes to show you that these things are not working so much to to create the structure of the body, although calcium is involved certainly in hardening the bones, but the fact that these things are in there in such tiny amounts tells you that it's not part of the structure of the body. It's part of the electricity of the body. Iron is part of the electricity of the body. Calcium, zinc, selenium. These things that are in there in the body at such tiny amounts. And then there's the ultra trace ones, the ones that are even less. Things like molybdenum, hafnium, tin, nickel even. Yes, nickel. For you guys who have nickel allergies, nickel is a part of the electromagnetics of the body. I had a lady call me up and said, I have a terrible nickel allergy, and I, I use that nickel. I have a plant-derived nickel in one of my products. And she said, I used your plant-derived, I used your uh, mineral blend, and I got a terrible allergic reaction to the nickel because I'm allergic to nickel. No, you can't be. You, you're not allergic to plant-derived nickel. You're allergic to forms of nickel. There are nickel allergies, and it's not even the nickel. It's the way the body handles the nickel that causes nickel allergies. That's a whole other story there. How the body handles something sometimes creates a problem, and it's not the the something itself. All right, I'm Pharmacist Ben. You're listening to The Bright Side. We'll be back right after this. Okay, we are back on 
the bright side. 844-236-6010 is our number, and we have lines open for you. 844-236-6010. Longevity products can be had at brightsideben.com, pharmacistben.com, or criticalhealthnews.com. You can also call 866-735-2470. 866-735-2470. And if you are an entrepreneur or you want to be in the nutrition business, you can start a longevity business for a one-time $30 fee. And then uh, make some money, a little bit of money, a lot of money, help spread the word about the power and importance of a good nutritional supplement program. Just pay for your products if that's all you want. You can use the business to pay for your products or just get your products at the wholesale price. Call 866-735-2470 for more information. Also want to remind you to check out our Truth Skin Health products at truthtreatments.com, truthtreatments.com. Our Biomimetic Mineral Mist, Truth Mineral Alpha Hydroxy Acid Exfoliator, Energizing Exfoliator. You know, one of the big problems with alpha hydroxy acids, as important as they are, is they drive chemistry, they stimulate chemistry in the skin, but they don't necessarily provide the skin, the skin cells, with the energy that they need to that the cells need to perform their duty. So the glycolic acid, the lactic acid, the various alpha hydroxy acids that so many people are using on their skin have a stimulating effect. They have an activating effect, but they don't provide the energy. They just turn it on. So when a cell gets turned on without the energy, without the electricity, that's not always a good thing. And that accounts for a lot of a lot of issues. A lot of people have problems using alpha hydroxy acids. They're irritating or they don't feel good on the skin. Well, if you have a source of energy, in with the alpha hydroxy acids, that mitigates a lot of the problems and allows you to allows the cells to take advantage or to leverage the activation. So you get there's actually two phases to making things happen in the skin with alpha hydroxy acids. You get an activation phase and then you've got an energy phase. The activation is like a switch, but you got to have the electrical energy. It's not enough just to have a switch. In fact, it can be counterproductive to turn a switch on without electrical energy, at least in terms of the skin. And our truth. Energizing Exfoliator, we provide electrical energy in the form of electrons. That is, alpha hydroxy acids provide this turn on the switch, and then the electrons from the plant derived minerals function as a source of energy for feeding the cells. It's a one two punch that leads to beautiful skin, that leads to wrinkle, fading wrinkles, that leads to improvements in skin tone and texture. It just leads to better skin. Not only that, but it provides uh, makes the skin uh, uh, more receptive to nutrients that you provide on the skin afterwards, which is why we recommend using our Truth Energizing Exfoliator and then hitting the skin with our Transdermal C Serum or Retinol if, you're, if it's your Retinol day. Anyway, you can, you can find all the Truth Skin Health products at truthtreatments.com, truthtreatments.com. So think about it. You got 99% of the body, 99.85% of the body is made up of 11 minerals. There's 92 mineral, or I'm sorry, elements. There's 92 elements on the periodic table. That means 81 of the elements are in the body at these infinitesimal amounts, which implies electricity, not structure. These things work electrically. They're like frequency modulating systems, and each element, by the way, conducts its own frequency. Each element has its own frequency. Each element has its own sound. If you can, there, are, there have been people who have actually turned the elements into music because each element has its own frequency, which means it has its own sound. And so, in essence, the body is singing. Can you imagine this? If we had the right detection mechanisms, we would hear the body singing. Cells themselves have their own frequencies and have their own sounds. And there have been scientists who've actually... Uh, who's, who have actually uh, made music out of the cells and made music out of the molecules in the cells and make music at, made music out of the atoms of the cells. So all the other spices, all the other 81 spices are like, uh, are like, uh, uh, they're, all the other F, 81 elements are like spices on a meal. That's how I think of them. I think of them like spices. They're infra and, and even in these inf infinitesimally small amounts, because of their frequency modulation properties, their ability to mod modulate the frequency of the body, even though they're in the body at these infinitesimal amounts, dis uh, deficiency diseases can result or deficiency illnesses can result from, from shortages in even those tiny little amounts. Selenium is found in the body on average at 0. 0.000000. 000 
one percent that's seven zeros that's ten millionths of a percent of the body is selenium can you imagine this you take the body divide it up by ten million times and that's how much selenium is in there but without that tiny little amount heart disease is likely Keyshawn's disease they call it selenium deficiency disease well known so it's, it's a well-known deficiency disease. Doc Wallach talks about it all the time. Keyshawn's disease. He calls it Wallach's disease. Because uh, he's one of the first guys to discover it. That there was a, a relationship between heart disease, certain forms of heart disease, and selenium deficiency. Zinc is found in the body at 0.0003%. And even at that tiny percentage of the body being zinc, if you take zinc out of the body, all kinds of health challenges, including developmental diseases, mental ret retardation, skin problems, all bone problems, all kinds of health challenges can ensue if the body is at, doesn't even have that 0.0003%. Iron is in the body at 0.0006%. Iodine is in the body at 0.0000002%. Give or take a zero. So these are the ultra trace elements. These are in, these are in the most ridiculously small amounts. Actually, these are trace elements. There's things like tin and lithium and, and rubidium and nickel, as I was saying earlier. They're even in at even less, yet deficiencies can create problems. So these elements, while only found in specks in the body, they play key, key roles in how healthy or how, healthy or how not healthy we're going to be. And they have to be ingested. They have to be eaten. The body cannot make minerals. This is what makes them essential. The body cannot make these things any more than we can make stones. And, I, and again, I, I, I know I'm calling them minerals, but I really mean elements. The minerals are the complexes. Except in the vernacular, in the language, we call minerals elements, so we confuse these two things so much that basically, when we talk about minerals, we're talking about elements, and I do it myself. Although, to be clear, it's the body needs the elements, not the minerals, and the minerals are going to have an implication on how well the elements are handled. So for millions of years, we got our elements from food. And... Ultimately, the food was either plants or it was animals that ate the plants. So the elements were all plant-derived for eons, for hundreds of thousands, millions of years. When we ate, all the elements that came into our body were plant-derived elements. With some exceptions, there was probably some mineral waters around in certain parts, uh, certain parts of... Uh, uh, certain parts of whatever the population was that lived by mineral waters. But for the most part, it was plant-derived. Most part, we were eating animals and we ate plants, so the body has evolved to get its minerals in a plant-derived form. This is a very special, special way, a special way of delivering elements. A plant-derived element is a magical element. The plant does something to the element that makes it safe, that makes it uh, absorbable, that makes it usable by the body. And guess what? You don't necessarily need to eat the plants, and you don't necessarily need to eat the animals to get the plant-derived uh, elements because they're found in the soil. They're found in shale. They're found in compressed soil, compressed dirt, and this is where supplements come in. are back on the bright side. I'm Pharmacist Ben, 844-236-6010 is our number, and we do have lines open for you, 844-236-6010. If you have questions about anything we're speaking about here today, the minerals, the mineral deficiencies, truth, uh, questions about our truth skin health products or longevity products, or if you just have a comment or success story you'd like to share, 844-236-6010 is our number. We'll continue talking a little bit more about the minerals and how they're handled by the body. Plant-derived minerals are handled by the body better than any other minerals. It's, it's the way the body's designed to run or designed to uh, ingest minerals is as plant-derived minerals. Obviously, there were no supplements on the, in the African savanna as our bodies were developing. So play, the, the body is, is geared up. It's evolved to utilize plant derived minerals, that is plant derived elements to be more specific. Reading from the journal Food Chemistry, quote, edible plants enhanced with minerals were tested to determine whether these plants could be used as a new source of mineral dietary supplements that provide essential minerals in a more 
available form than current inorganically based mineral supplements, unquote. This was a study that was done to determine whether plant-derived minerals are more effectively handled by the body than regular mineral supplements. And indeed, quote, results from these experiments indicate that the accumulated trace elements achieve greater soluble concentrations than those provided in popular mineral supplements. In other words, the body handles plant-derived elements way better than uh, the kind that we get in, in most typical supplements, and that makes plant-derived elements a critical part of a good nutritional supplement program. Thank you, Dr. Wallach, for pointing that out. So anybody, anybody ever ask you what the difference between plant-derived elements, i.e. minerals, and ordinary supplements are, you could tell them the body is designed to handle these things much more effectively, much more efficiently. That's how we evolved. That's how we grew up. We'll continue talking about this very interesting subject, and we'll talk about a specifically important and very interesting uh, element uh, that is really underappreciated when it comes to health, especially when it comes to electrical health, detoxification, also to a certain extent structure, and also to having beautiful skin. We'll do that on our next Bright Side episode. We want to read a couple stories, and then we'll get your phone calls. 844-236-6010 is our number, 844-236-6010. From uh, the journal Acta Otolaryngology, ear, nose, and throat, that is. Vitamin C and E used for sudden hearing loss, a retrospective chart review. That's where they looked at uh, patients' charts. It was performed of 87 patients with idiopathic sudden sensoneural hearing loss. That's when all of a sudden you're hearing, you lose your hearing for no known reason, basically. These were, uh, these were patients who were treated with steroids as well as vitamin B12 and then also uh, vitamin E and vitamin C. As it turns out, results of the study suggest that supplementation with vitamin E in a specific form called to cover all nicotin nicotinoate, which is a combination of vitamin E and vitamin B3, and vitamin C can enhance recovery in patients with ISSHL, idiopathic sudden sensoneural hearing loss. I love these names. Just when you lose your hearing all of a sudden. So vitamin C and E, vitamin C and E are just two incredibly important vitamins. Vitamin C people know about. Vitamin E, I sometimes wonder what people think. You don't hear a lot about vitamin E. It's one of my favorite vitamins because it's got so many important roles to play in skin health. If you find that your skin is really sensitive or you find that your skin is burning more readily in the sun, vitamin E can go a long way towards making the skin less sensitive. It's also very important for the healing process. If you burn yourself or cut yourself, take a high dose of vitamin E for, I don't know, for three or four or five days. can't really hurt you. Uh, it's, it's pretty much non-toxic, but taking, and by high dose, I'm talking like maybe 1,200 or, or even uh, 1,500, uh, 1,600 uh, international units. It usually comes in 400 IU capsules. Uh, take 1,600, 1,200 to 1,600 IU of vitamin E for three or four or five days. You will be amazed at how fast your skin heals. Now, I don't know, I don't know that I would necessarily recommend staying on that high dose for more than three or four or five days. But for that short period of time, you will notice a dramatic improvement in healing. I mean dramatic. It's pretty mind-blowing. Vitamin E is incredibly important as an anti-inflammatory vitamin. One of, the, one of the more confusing or misunderstood of the vitamins, there's many forms of vitamin E. We'll spend some time talking about vitamin E, hope, hopefully uh, sometime soon on the bright side. But for now, just appreciate how important vitamin E is for all healing, particularly for uh, healing the skin. And in combination with vitamin C, we now know that it can be used for sudden hearing loss. Uh, let me see here. Here's a good one. Thiamine deficiency after gastric bypass surgery. 80 obese patients uh, who were, uh, who were uh, underwent uh, ba uh, gastric bypass surgery. 49% of them had subnormal whole blood thiamine diphosphate levels. That is, they had low levels of thiamine. Now, they tested for thiamine, but you can rest assured if you have gastric bypass surgery, you're going to be throwing off your, uh, you're going to be throwing off nutrient absorption across the board. Gastric bypass surgery patients, please understand that you are at serious risk for malnourishment. You may not notice it uh, immediately. It may not be dramatic enough for you to drop dead right away, but it is not going to help your health. So if you need gastric bypass, and I don't think anybody needs gastric bypass, but if you, you absolutely have to have your gastric bypass, please make sure that you're supplementing with all of your vitamins, 
minerals, and essential fatty acids, and also probably essential amino acids. Just get on a supplement program. In this particular case, thiamine deficiency in these, bi in these gastric bypass patients was significant enough to, uh, to cause neuropsychiatric illnesses. Thiamine is another one of those underappreciated vitamins. For folks who have blood sugar problems, thiamine is a key player in how the body processes sugar. Thiamine deficiency is known to cause uh, Wernicke Korsakoff syndrome or dementias. I wonder how many times, uh, when I go to nursing homes, either as a pharmacist or to visit people, and I see people with dementia, I wonder in my head how much of that is thiamine deficiency? How much of that is electrolyte deficiency? How much, how much of that is uh, uh, chromium and vanadium deficiency or inability to process sugar? Dementia patients absolutely positively should be put on the Beyond Tangy Tangerine and a nutritional supplement program in general, especially if they're in a nursing home, which are dietary disasters. Now, sometimes they don't let you have the, the, uh, the supplements, but if you if you're, have know somebody in a nursing home, you could do... A miracle. You could do the most incredible good deed by putting, a, uh, helping somebody with some Beyond Tangy Tangerine or aloe vera for that matter or vegetable juice or soups. All right, 844-236-6010 is our number. You're listening to The Bright Side. Time to the phones. Let's say good morning to Chris in California. What's up, Chris? How you doing? Hi, how are you? Um, I'm all right. How can we... Thank you. Thank you for what you do, first of all. I Thank you, Chris. It. I appreciate that. Uh, in, yeah. uh, and you, uh, and so taking supplements in the morning on an empty stomach. And, and um, also I had another question. Uh, I know you always mention adding stuff, but like with the BTT, uh, is it okay to add vitamin A and add your um, the thing? You mean add and, it into uh, the BTT the, or take it with? Take it with. Oh, yeah, totally. Great to take it with. And also empty stomach. Uh, I, I personally think it's, you should have a little bit of something, and you, the digestive system should be kicking in. Well, that's an important question, Chris. Hang on. we got to take a break. We'll finish up when we come back. I'm Pharmacist Ben. You're listening to The Bright Side. 844-236-6010 is our number. We'll take a commercial break and return right after this. I am Pharmacist Ben. We're talking to Chris in California. You there? I'll get Chris up here. Chris? Yeah. Okay. So, uh, yeah. yeah, your question about supplements and meals and empty stomach is a very good question. Personally, I think that when you're supplementing, you're actually supplementing food, right? The word supplement means to add to. When you supplement, you're supplementing food, correct? Yeah. Hello? Correct? That's a that's a question yeah. for you, Chris. But okay, I'll take I'll take that as a yes. Uh, well, um, um, just because I'm waking up in the morning and taking my supplements and and going to work. Think about it, though. Think about it, Chris. You're supplementing your food. You're not taking it on its own. It's not meant to be on its own. It's meant to supplement food. We call it a supplement. So personally, okay. I'm saying I think you want to have uh, the digestive system working with food. You want the bile going. You want the digestive en uh, enzymes and stomach acid going. You want the system primed to digest when you take your supplements. That's what I would be doing. Now, if you take them on an empty stomach, it's not like you're not going to get a benefit from them. But to maximize the benefit, you probably want to have the digestive system moving. You know what I'm saying? So the, kind of running, ready to, to kind of absorb things. And that would take maybe a little bit of, uh, doesn't have to be a lot of food. It could be a couple of eggs or something like that. But I think you want the digestive juices flowing is what I'm saying here. All right? Okay. Even if you take it with an enzyme? No. Enzymes too. Enzymes don't work unless you have stomach acid going. So enzymes don't work by themselves. Okay. You know what I'm saying? You want the digestive okay. juices flowing to, for maximum absorption for the most part. All right? Okay. Th thank you. Anything okay, else? I have one more question. Yeah. Yeah, I have one more question. Uh, the de-stress, is that a good source of, of uh, vitamin B? Mm. And is it okay to put niacin with it? Or? Yeah, it's definitely okay to mix. You can mix them. Um, de-stress isn't really going to change your life or anything. Uh, did you say a good source of vitamin B? Yeah. B as in boy? Um, no, it's not a great yeah, source of vitamin B. It's got a little bit in there. I, I'm, I don't talk about the de-stress too much. There's, you got, in terms of supplementation, there's way more important products. 
All right, and that's my opinion. Okay. All right, I'm going to let you go. Thanks for your call, Chris. Appreciate it. Let's go to Minnesota and say hello to Kendrick. What's up, Kendrick? Good morning. Hi, how are you? I'm doing good. How's it going today? Very well. I have a question for you. Yes, sir. Concerning, concerning the periodic table of elements. Oh, okay. Um, it's very interesting what you point out as far as the periodic table elements is concerned. I want to really thank you for that. Oh, are you a um, chemist? Are you a chemist or? No, I'm not. I'm a lay person that studies the periodic table elements. Oh, I, I like it, that. I like I that. I found it interesting. So when I was turning the channel one day, I ran across your program and you were talking about the periodic table elements. So I've been tuning in ever since. Nice. Oh, oh, you're a rare I man wanted... there, Kendrick. You're a rare man. But but well, you're smart, so too, you? because... <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> but we're smart because reality is created out of the periodic table. So if you're interested in reality, whether it's health or anything else, uh, you got to at least, at least recognize it, if not understand it. Sure. So what's going so, on? How can I help you? How can I help you? Well, these elements, aren't they, in fact, uh, atoms? That's exactly what they are. You, they're right. exactly that. They're atoms. Yes. Right. And so we studied the periodic table when I was in high school, but it was never really made clear that they were that these elements were actually atoms. Yeah. And so when you say that there are 92 on the periodic table of elements, then since it goes up to 118, the rest today, are man-made. The rest are man-made. That's correct, and that's a, that's an amazing thing right there that we you know we don't we don't appreciate enough is that we actually have invent have technologically made elements like plutonium for example. Yeah, so plutonium would be ninety four, and what is it? Neptunium is ninety. Yeah, neptunium, and there's just really bizarre ones, and they're at the the end of the periodic table. That's right. Okay, so do you know? How many that it will eventually be? <laughs> I, I know <noticed> that. <laughs> you know, I know, that's a great question. No, I have no idea. I mean, text creating materials is the next frontier in uh, in all of si in science is actually creating atoms and then creating textiles and materials out of those atoms. So it, these man-made elements, man, uh, they represent uh, a really a, an incredible uh, aspect of high technology. There's a, do you know there's an element called technetium, by the way? Yeah. Americium. Americ 43? Yeah, yeah, you know your elements there. That's very good. So anyway, uh, the, the man-made ones don't necessarily have anything to do with health, but the 92, they're in the earth, and we're in the earth, right? We are the earth. I know you appreciate this, Kendrick. You're a smart guy. Yeah, we are sure. the earth, right? Do you get that? Right. right. We're not separate from the earth. We grow off the earth like we're stuck in it. We are the earth. So if it's in the earth, it's going to be in us. And even though, you know, Dr. Wallach and other nutritionists say there's 60 essential elements, probably they're all. I think they're all part of us, at least, if they're not essential for chemistry. They're all part of us because we are the earth. So uh, I hope I answered your question. Do you have anything specific, Kendrick? Well, um, when you speak about the clays, um, mm. I was waiting to here where we can get these clays from well you can buy them nutritionally in in the form of bentonite clay redmond clay most health food stores will have some kind of clay you can definitely get them on the internet there's a guy named gary Hanna in austin texas and he has a clay company where he sells various clays the act of the most clays are made up of uh the most abundant uh elements in the earth which are aluminum and uh, oxygen aluminum and silica and I, th I, think, I wonder if hydrogen might be in there, too. Uh, but especially silica. So clays are an incredible way to get silica into the body. And we're going to be talking a lot about this. But clays also contain other minerals that kind of um, are magnetically attracted to the silica and the aluminum and the, car uh, and the hydrogen bases that they are. Uh, the base that's clay has a magnetic attraction for all the other minerals. So when you eat clay, you're not only getting the silica and, and the aluminum, by the way, uh, which has been so demonized, wrong kind of aluminum that gets demonized, uh, and then also the oxygen. But you also get the iron, and you also get uh, calcium, and you also get magnesium, and you also get zinc and copper, and a whole bunch of other 
uh, other elements when you eat clay. So uh, eating clay for detox, eating clay as a source of minerals, it, it really is a, a very underappreciated way to stay healthy uh, from a supplemental perspective. Uh, Kendra, I want to get one more call in. Do you have anything else you want to add? No, um, that that's about it. Uh, thanks. Thanks a lot for your information. And yeah, you. thank you. Thank you for being a smart listener. I appreciate that, Kendrick. All right, let's get one more call in. Barry, you get the last word. What's going on, buddy? Yes, uh, uh, yes. Uh, good morning. I want to ask you in regards to um, I'm, I'm very, very uh, thin, and uh, I, I, I've been on a vegan diet, even though I'm thinking about changing that after listening to your how, what, what do you say thin? What do you mean? Like how tall, how much you weigh? Oh, I'm about uh, five four, and I may weigh about a hundred pounds. Maybe. Okay, you're that. pretty thin. Uh, now, now, what's your? You don't? Do you know your body fat at all? No, I, I don't. But I just want to know. I feel good. Is this something I should? Nah. Be? If you feel good, I wouldn't worry about it. If you want to put on some bulk, get in the gym, and then do pro- protein, amino acids, essential fatty acids, maybe some creatine. But you don't want to be fat. You want muscle. If you want to gain weight, I mean, you don't want to just gain weight. So if you want to really put some numbers on the scale, it's not just pure weight. You want to have lean muscle mass, and that comes from resistance training and then uh, good nutrition. The combination of resistance training and nutrition will put muscle mass on you, and that, that's kind of the weight you're looking at if you want to gain weight if you're too thin. But if you feel good, I wouldn't worry about it. I mean, it does sound a little bit slender, but I wouldn't worry about it too much. All right. Uh, also, uh, I have a quick question. In the Bible, the in that uh, man's day should be 120 years, and they had a w- woman in France who actually lived to be uh, 122 years and some months. So I want to know, um, you know, do you think uh, we can live to be that? Heck mean, yeah. If, if one human being can do it, that means it's possible for any human being can t- to do it. It means it's in the human potential. The human, human beings have a potential to live to 120 to 130. That's been shown over and over and over again. It's not incredibly common, but it happens a lot. I mean, it happens. So we know that if the human body can do it, if one human body can do it, any, any human body can do it. It's just common sense. So yes, and it's not even just living to 120. It's living good to 120. We don't want to just be alive. We want to have quality of life. And that's where all of these strategies that we talk about every day come in. Moving the body, respiration, getting on a good nutritional supplement program, spiritual, mental, and emotional strategies as well. All right, that's all the time we have for today. Thanks for listening to The Bright Side. I'm Pharmacist Ben. Have a wonderful, beautiful, awesome, spectacular day. We'll talk to you all later. Bye for now. 